Today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you how to make a fun Christmas tag featuring the brand new Winter Cheer Stamp TV kit. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to make this card project. First, you're going to need some cardstock and pattern paper. And I'm using some of the Gina K Designs Christmas Pine, some of our Red Hot, our White, and then a piece of the pattern paper from the new Winter Cheer 6x6 paper pack. And this paper pack is included in the Stamp TV kit. Then you're going to need some ink. And I'm using the Gina K Designs Christmas Pine ink. I'm using one of the stamps from the Winter Cheer Kit, and this is the greeting that says Merry Christmas. You're also going to need some kind of sparkle, and you can use either a Wink of Stella pen, a Sakura Stardust pen, or in my case, I'm going to be using our prismatic glitter in the color Frozen. You're also going to need some sort of craft pick or piercing tool, some quickie glue if you're using loose glitter, and then I have a few embellishments here. This was one of our freebies from last, last month's release. This is some of our gold cording. And if you don't have the gold cording, you can also use baker's twine or any other kind of thin string. Then for embellishments, this particular snowflake quicklet, these are the eyelets, the quicklet eyelets by Eyelet Outlet, this is our level one freebie this month, so it, for anyone who spends $25 or more on a purchase will get a package of these. So if you have the Stamp TV kit, then you most likely have a package of these. So I'm going to use one of these. I'm using one of our tiny little jingle bells, and that comes in the kit. And then I'm using one of the rhinestone brads. These are the black rhinestones. And you can use any kind of brad that you have, but I thought that this would be pretty. Give it a little bit of sparkle. I'm also going to use a quicklet setter. Now our um, eyelet outlet quicklets, these little eyelets, you can set them using a ballpoint pen. You just stick a ballpoint pen in there and kind of twist it around and it'll flatten right out. But if you don't want to do that, you can pick up the uh, Quicklet Setter on our website at ginakdesigns.com, and it makes it really easy to set any of the Quicklet products. So I thought I'd show you how to do that. Okay, here I have just a basic EK Success corner rounder, and you can use any corner rounder you want. I have a quarter inch hole punch. This can be purchased pretty much at any office supply store or any of the big box stores. I have some adhesive my cutter bee scissors, and then I have a few of our dies, and these are some of the newer dies that we have. This is the double scalloped border die, and that one was one of the first dies that we brought into Gina K Designs. But these are some new dies. This is the uh, poinsettia die, and this is the holly leaves die. This is a holly leaves border, or it actually cuts out the leaves individually, which I love. And then these are the, this is the pine sprigs. Now, you're going to notice that with some of our dies, there'll be two separate dies and they're attached by this tiny little piece of metal here. Now, you can break those apart or you can use it all as one die. But I recommend even getting a good pair of utility scissors and just cutting those off like that. Now you'll have two separate dies, and you can cut those nice and close using good utility scissors and just get rid of that little excess point there. So, And then you have two separate dies, and that makes it easier to use exactly what you want. So I'm going to be using the larger of the two pine sprigs. And then, of course, I'm going to be using my cuddle bug for this project. So to begin, I have a piece of red cardstock here, and this is going to be my main tag. Now, I'm not using a tag die, but you certainly can use a tag die if you have one. Just cut it out to the shape of the die, and then kind of adjust your patterned paper and different pieces to fit your die. But if you don't have a die, you can do this technique too. So I'm going to start with this little piece of patterned paper that's cut to the same width as this tag, and it's about an inch long. And I'm going to adhere that to the top of this little tag. Just like 
Well, let's... And also, if you want, you can move it down a little bit. Let's do that. That'll look cute. All right. So there we go. Now the next step is going to be to round the corners. So I'm going to use that corner rounder, and if you've never used a corner rounder before, they're pretty easy to use. You just fit the corner into the little V that's on the corner rounder punch, and punch. And you get nice rounded corners. I really like this EK Success Punch. It's kind of the same shape. It makes the sh same shape card as some of the Project Life cards. So if you're into Project Life, this is kind of a fun little punch, and it's available in most of the big box stores. Okay, so now I have this little design going here. My next step is going to be to take another small little piece of white cardstock and stamp my greeting using some of the Christmas Pine ink. Now you'll excuse my head if it gets in the way, I just want to make sure that I stamp this nice and straight and in the center. So there we go. There we go. Okay. And remember, you can adopt, or I'm sorry, you can adapt this whole card or this whole tag project to be a birthday tag or a Easter tag or a Mother's Day tag, whatever you want, just by changing out the greetings and the patterns. So now I'm going to tape this little piece down here onto the bottom of the tag. There we go. Okay. So now my next step is to do a little bit of die cutting. So let me put this aside for a second and grab the cuddle bug. And I'm going to start with an A and my C plate. I have my C plate on the bottom, and there's a reason for this. These dies are just a little bit more shallow than some of my other dies. Maybe not shallow, but pretty detailed. So what I'm going to do is, rather than put the paper down and cut it this way, I'm going to put the die down and then lay the piece of cardstock on top. Then, my, you can see my uh, cuddle bug plate is a little bit warped, and that's pretty common. It's probably time for me to replace it. But I'm going to use it kind of upside down here so that the curve is pressing against the die even more. And then I'm going to add one more piece of cardstock. I think I'll add a piece of our dark chocolate. That's nice and thick, and it's a scrap piece that I have here. And then I'm going to cut that. So I'm making, you can hear it cracking and popping and pinging. I'm going to just take a look at it. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now I'm going to pull these out. Something about upside down just seems to work better with the more intricate dies. So now I have these three different flowers that are going to layer together to make a poinsettia. What I love about this die is it's not completely symmetrical. So... It, it looks more like a real flower when you pile them together. All right. So now I'm also going to take a little strip of white and my double scalloped die. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'll lay the die down first. And then the piece of cardstock. My B plate upside down. And that extra little piece of cardstock. And... I'm not real worried about where I cut it on there, but you can see that that. Let me grab my craft pick. You'll notice that there's these little holes on the other side. If things start to get stuck, you can just kind of poke them out there, and there we go. Okay, so now I have that delicate little scalloped pattern. I'm going to put that aside. Now... My next step is going to be to do the leaves and the pine. So I'm going to use, let me get rid of these little pieces here. I'm going to use a piece of the Christmas pine cardstock. I have so many little things all over. And again, my C plate. And then I'm going to grab these little leaves little pine leaves and the holly leaves. And I'm 
just going to lay that right on top. B plate upside down and my piece of dark chocolate cardstock and run this all through. I am going to want to take a look at that because those pine needles are very delicate. I feel like maybe I'll run that through one more time, but you can see one of the leaves just popped right out, so I'll grab that one off. And I'll do that one more time. Just to really make sure it's easy to get them out of the what's left behind. Okay. Oops, I moved it. Well, that can happen too. So if you move it, just cut out another one. Right there. All right, one more time. Maybe it was pretty easy for it to come out. I'll test it first. Oh yeah, that's coming right out, you can see. Okay, so we'll pop these out. And then I'll show you all the pieces that I'm going to use. I'm going to use these two pine sprigs. I'm going to use this holly leaf and this holly leaf and then my flowers and my border. So let's put all those aside and get the cuddle bug out of the way and we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so for my next step, I'm going to position this little piece of border exactly where I want it, and I'm going to tape it down using a little bit of the mono adhesive. Now what you want to do is just kind of hold it tight, put a little bit of mono adhesive on it, and then just pick it up. Now you can use um, the dot stuff, or you can use a Xyron too, but the mono adhesive works pretty well. So I'm going to position that right where I want it and press it down. And then you can just rub off any little glue that's on there. You can also do that with an eraser. Use a clean eraser and it'll just rub the glue right off the face of that border. And then using my Cutter Bee scissors, I'm going to trim off the excess. And I can use those pieces maybe for something else. So there, now I've added that pretty little border. Now my next step is going to be to put these little flowers together. So I'm going to do that by stacking them like this. And then I'm going to use the craft pick and I'm going to poke a hole into the center. And you might want to poke a hole like over a little piece of a mouse pad or something. Just being careful not to poke yourself when you do that. And then I'm going to put a brad in the center and spread that out on the back. There we go. Now I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to this so that I can let it dry. And I'm going to do that using the Quickie glue pen. So I want to start that glue. I always like to start that glue on a little piece of cardstock just to make sure the glue is flowing. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of glue to these petals. You can see I'm not coloring the whole thing in, just a little bit here and there. And what's nice about this glue is it does dry clear, even though it's blue when it goes on. And I'll add a little glue to some of the petals from underneath. You can see how I'm just scribbling that glue on. And if you want, you certainly can do this before you assemble the flower, but it's pretty easy to do once the flower is assembled as well. And then you don't get glitter everywhere when you're trying to assemble the flower. It's already assembled. Okay, so I'm going to grab a little scrap piece of paper here and my glitter and just sprinkle that glitter all over that flower. 
like that. You can see how pretty and shiny that is. All right, I'm going to put that aside, and I'm going to add a little touch of quickie glue just along the scored lines on this particular leaf. And then I'm just going to dip it in like that. And you can see now I've got glitter on that. I'm going to do the same thing here with the smaller one. And like I said, you might prefer to use a Stardust pen or a Sakura pen uh, or a Wink of Stella pen. But the actual loose glitter really, really does sparkle. And then I'm going to add a little bit right onto these pine leaves here. Just a little bit. So pretty and sparkly. It's kind of fun to play with glitter for the holidays. Even if you don't use glitter much during other times of the year, it is really fun. We have a couple of new glitters in our store. We have red and Christmas pine, and we have some silver and gold and black for your other projects that you're doing over the holidays. So check that out. Okay. So now let me get rid of this excess glitter. And I'm going to clean up my workstation just with a paper towel. You can also use a Swiffer or something like that. All right, and back to my project. Now I'm going to add a little embellishment up at the top. So what I wanna do is punch a hole. I'm just gonna kinda of eyeball it here. Punch a hole into the tag. And then I'm going to pop that little snowflake in. Right like that. Now to use this Quicklet setter, all you do is you take the setter, you press down, and then you do a circular motion. So press down and a circular motion. And that spreads everything out. And then you can use the back of it just to hammer down the little loose ends. And that makes it a lot easier to set an eyelet without um, any big punches or big uh, type of tools. It's very easy to take with you to crops and things. Okay, so we're almost ready to assemble this part, but let's put the little bit of uh, gold cording in there first. So what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna come through the back of this, and put that in, and then let's see if this fits. If not, I might just run it through a single piece of cord. I think I'll do that. I'll tie that on later. All right, so there's my little tag. And then I'm going to cut a piece of this off and feed it through the little jingle bell here. Let's use the other side. I think I'm due for some stronger glasses. These aren't working so well anymore. Use my little craft pick to try to shove it through there. Okay. And then if you want, you could tie that on to the top of the tag. Just by, let's loosen that a little bit. just by adding it in a little knot. Move this out of the way. All right. Get 
the other side fed through. Now you have a little jingle there for your tag. Tighten that up. And you can cut away the excess. And let me even these out on the top. And you can tie a little knot at the top just to finish it off. Like that. Okay. So now I have a little jingle bell in there. Okay. So our final step is going to be to add, got some glitter all over the front of my tag, to add the flower and the sprigs of greenery there. So I'm going to do that by putting a little bit of mono adhesive right on the back of the largest flower. Of course you could put these on with glue dots if you want to. I'm going to stick that down. And once that's stuck down, then I'm going to kind of bend these other petals up a little bit to give it a more three-dimensional look. Like that. Then, using again some mono adhesive, I'm going to slip one of the holly leaves back here. And another one. here. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the pine. Put some of it, you could put it wherever you want. I'll put this one right under here and I'll put one down at the other end. down here. There we go. And that is my finished tag. You can use these tags for more than just presents. You can hang them on wine bottles or even use them as Christmas ornaments. I hope you've enjoyed today's Stamp TV project. And stay tuned for more episodes featuring the brand new Winter Cheer Stamp TV Kit.